students our today's topic is determination of calcium oxide magnesium oxide <coughs> zinc oxide in the talc by complexometry so now first of all as we know the talc is a type of naturally occurring silicate and which type of silicate is talc talc is a type of sheet silicate and is obtained from earth and chemically what is talc it is hydrated form of magnesium silicate having formula mg3 si4 o10 oh twice and its composition is magnesium oxide 31.7 percent silica 63.5 percent water 4.8 percent but in addition to this main constants of talc commercial talc may sometime contain other impurities like kaolinite kaolinite is a type of aluminum silicate and it may contain calcite calcite is a polymorph of calcium carbonate what is a polymorph polymorph mean when a substance can exist in more than one type of structure so calcium carbonate can exist in more than one type of stru structure and one form of that is calcite so calcite may also be present as impurity in talc dolomite dolomite is a mixed carbonate of calcium and magnesium and magnesite magnesium carbonate so all these may be present as impurities in the talc so for the determination of calcium oxide magnesium oxide and zinc oxide in the talc we need certain reagents <laughs> and first is standard solution of edta standard mean whose concentration is known so say we are using 0 0.01 molar edta then we need ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide buffer of ph 10 which is prepared by dissolving 7 grams of ammonium chloride in 57 ml of ammonia and diluting the solution to 1 liter by adding rest of water and then we need 1 molar NaOH of solution of ph 12 then we need ereochrome black tea indicator and muroxide indicator and also we need 0 0.01 molar ammonium thiocyanate and given talc sample and sodium carbonate and uh, in apparatus we require burette pipette titration flask burette stand and pickers etc so how we can determine the amount of calcium oxide magnesium oxide and zinc oxide in a talc sample so for that we can employ complexometry means complex formation by using edta but for this when we will process the talc for preparing sample for analysis we will be having zinc calcium and magnesium ions in the solution so this zinc interferes with calcium and magnesium so we need to first remove the zinc by precipitating zinc in the form of zinc thiocyanate using ammonium thiocyanate solution and these precipitates of zinc thiocyanate are then used for the estimation of zinc oxide while filtrate is used for the estimation of calcium oxide and magnesium oxide so first next is procedure first is preparation of talc extract so for preparation of talc extract we need to take known weight of given talc sample say 0.5 grams in platinum crucible and mix it with 5 grams of sodium carbonate and then heat the contents in a muffle furnace at 500 degree centigrade and this heating will be done for 
10 minutes and then gradually increase the temperature to 1000 degrees centigrade to obtain a clear fused product and this heating will take about half an hour then cool the crucible to room temperature and place it in a beaker containing 200 ml distilled water boil the contents till the fused, ma fused mass gets dissolved then transfer the contents into a beaker and add 30 ml of concentrated HCl evaporate to dryness on a steam bath till there is no order of concentrated HCl in the residue then wash the residue with distilled water and heat the contents to boil after that filter the contents while hot through Wattman filter paper and rinse the beaker with distilled water and collect the washings as filtrate then dilute the filtrate with distilled water so as to make total volume 500 ml in a measuring flask then use this extract for the determination of calcium oxide magnesium oxide and zinc oxide now once this much is done we need to precipitate the zinc as zinc thiocyanate so um, next step is precipitation of zinc as zinc thiocyanate so for that we need to take 10 ml of or say 100 ml of known volume say 100 ml of talc extract which we prepared earlier and dilute it to 300 ml by adding distilled water then add 0 0.01 molar ammonium thiocyanate solution why to precipitate zinc as zinc thiocyanate check for the complete precipitation of zinc by adding little amount of ammonium thiocyanate solution to the filtrate if no precipitation occurs then zinc is precipitated completely and if precipitation occurs then add more of ammonium thiocyanate solution till precipitation is complete further filter the solution and collect the residues and filter filtrate separately we will collect the residues and filtrate separately and filtrate is used for the estimation of calcium oxide and magnesium oxide while residues are used for estimation of zinc oxide then the residues uh, we will dissolve them in isobutyl methyl ketone and will transfer this solution into a separating funnel add distilled water to the separating funnel and shake well and then collect the aqueous layer and repeat the process of extraction two, th two three times by using distilled water dilute the contents with distilled water to make the volume equal to 100 ml in a measuring flask this solution is used for estimation of zinc next is complexometric determination of zinc oxide so for complexometric determination of zinc oxide we will take the EDTA solution in the burette so and we'll pipette out known volume say 25 ml of zinc ion solution in a titration flask and we'll add 5 ml of ammonium chloride ammonium hydroxide buffer to it of pH 10 and then we will add 5 4 to 5 drops of ereochrome black tea indicator to the titration flask <laughs> We will get wine red color. Note the initial reading of the burette and start titrating this solution against standard solution of EDTA from the burette till the color of the solution changes from wine red to blue. Note the final reading of the burette and let the volume of EDTA solution used for zinc ion solution is AML. Now we are having the volume of EDTA solution used for zinc ion solution. Then we need to apply calculations. So I can say volume of EDTA solution used for 25 ml of zinc solution is equal to AML say then by applying molarity equation M1V1 is equal to M2V2 so on the left I am using zinc solution and on the right I am using EDTA standard solution of EDTA so from here I can calculate the molarity of zinc solution that will be equal to molarity of EDTA that is 0 0.01 molar multiplied by volume of EDTA that we got AML and volume of zinc solution we use 25 ml so it comes out to be equal to A divided by 2500 C then the strength of zinc oxide in the given sample will be equal to strength equal 
will be equal to molarity into molecular weight so we are having molarity of zinc solution equal to a by 2500 and the molecular weight of zinc oxide is 81.3 because zinc is approximately 65 and oxygen 16 so this comes out to be equal to exact 81.3 so this comes out to be equal to the z grams of zinc per liter i have used symbol z for zinc next is determination of calcium oxide so a whole of the process for titration process for determination of calcium oxide is same as that for the zinc except for the buffer solution and indicator so we will use fill or we will take the edta solution the burette and we'll take filtrate marked for estimation of calcium and magnesium oxide from which zinc has been removed and then we will add 2 ml of 1 molar NaOH solution of pH 12 and we will add 3 4 drops of muroxide indicator to the titration flask red color will appear note the initial reading of the burette and start titrating this solution against standard solution of EDTA from the burette till the color of the solution changes from red to purple note the final reading of the burette now please note in this case that the solution is containing both calcium and magnesium and we employed sodium hydroxide so what is the use of sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide precipitates the magnesium present in the mixture as magnesium hydroxide so when magnesium gets precipitated as magnesium hydroxide only calcium will be determined therefore when we titrate this solution against edta then only calcium reacts with the edta hence volume of edta used corresponds only to the calcium let the volume of edta solution used for calcium ion solution is bml then the calculations this will be on parallel lines as that of the zinc oxide let the volume of edta solution used for 25 ml of calcium solution is bml say then applying molarity equation m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 on the left i have taken calcium ion solution and on the right it is edta so molarity of calcium ion solution will come out to be equal to 0 0.01 multiplied by b divided by 25 because we used 25 ml of calcium ion solution this comes out to be equal to b by 2500 say then the strength of calcium oxide would be equal to molarity into molecular weight so the molecular weight of calcium oxide is 56 because calcium is 40 and oxygen is 16 so it comes out to be equal to 56 so strength of calcium comes out to be equal to say c grams per liter for calcium i used symbol c <laughs> then estimation of magnesium oxide now for estimation of magnesium oxide what we need to do for that we need to do another titration we determined the amount of calcium by doing precipitation of magnesium using NaOH now if we titrate the solution of calcium and magnesium against EDTA using ereochrome black tea in the presence of ammonium chloride ammonium buffer of pH 10 then both calcium and magnesium will react with the EDTA so by titrating the calcium zinc magnesium solution at pH 10 we will get the amount of both calcium and magnesium whereas if the reaction is carried out at or titration is carried out at pH 12 then only calcium will react so the, by taking the difference of the two we can determine the amount of magnesium oxide alone so difference of volume of EDTA used for calcium and magnesium and for calcium alone gives the volume corresponding to magnesium so what we will do we will take the edta in burette and we'll take 25 ml of filtrate marked for estimation of calcium and magnesium oxide which was we prepared after the removal of zinc in a titration flask then we will add 4 ml of ammonium hydroxide ammonium chloride buffer and 4 5 drops of ereochrome black tea indicator to the titration flask wine red color will appear note the initial reading of the burette 
and start titrating this solution against DTA. So this processor is same. So we will get from this the volume of EDTA solution used for both calcium and magnesium ions say it is CML. Now volume of EDTA solution used for 25 volume of calcium and magnesium solution is equal to CML say and we earlier calculated the volume of EDTA used for calcium only. So the volume of EDTA corresponding to magnesium will be equal to volume of EDTA used for calcium and magnesium minus volume of EDTA used for calcium. So V magnesium I can say would be equal to V calcium plus magnesium minus V calcium. So V magnesium will be equal to C minus B that comes out to be equal to DML. Now by applying molarity equation we can calculate the molarity of magnesium solution. So molarity comes out to be equal to D by 2500 say. Then the strength of magnesium oxide will be equal to molarity into molecular weight. Now magnesium is having atomic weight 24, oxygen 16. So it comes out to be equal to 40. So say it comes out to be equal to m grams per liter. So this is how you can calculate the weight of calcium oxide, magnesium oxide and zinc oxide in given sample of talc by using complexometry. Thank you.